Nathan standing here is sort of telling that like Chris is giving himself a very narrow base of support. So instead of aligning himself over two legs, in a way he's aligning himself between the cane and his right leg. Does everybody see that? So this one, this being a narrow base, doesn't affect him so much because he's using this. So he's almost putting his center, these are his two legs, yeah? Okay, so in his body schema, the left leg is likely poorly represented. So this is something we talked about in our lecture this morning, Chris, of just your sort of awareness of different body parts. And so he's showing us that he can take his weight into left space. Okay, so we're gonna come, uh, actually can you take a couple steps to your left? Okay, so through elevation there. Stop there, stop there, okay. Um, now we're gonna get you to sit down on the bed. Gently. Right. Okay, good. Controlled descent. And then I'm gonna ask Chris to stand in just a moment. Just, I don't know if anyone saw that when he got up to walk, but just sort of take in what he's doing to stand. And are you always using this to no, stand? No, Okay, so s just stand yourself up. Hey. So, he's up. So, comments? He's uh, putting more weight on the right and keeping the right leg back. Keeping the right leg. Yeah, so he's putting more weight on the right. He's biasing the right leg by stepping it back, and the left leg is a lot less involved in, in sit to stand. Yeah? So we're seeing that sort of theme in uh, sit to stand, in walking, um, that the left, and in standing balance, the left leg is less involved in the process. Right? Okay. 